Hello everyone, this is Admiral Plerovsky bringing you Atlantic Fleet Kriegsmarine Campaign. It's time for mission number 41. Right over here. King George V, Prince of Wales, Barrack and Cumberland. So, I'm thinking we get the... Um, Oh, actually, I'm not sure. Should we or should we not? What do we reckon? We do have the Hutton available. If we wanted to. Yeah, go on. Because they could have airstrikes as well. They could have airstrikes because it's quite close to Canada, so... We'll bring in these three... Musketeers. The British have the initiative. Uh, we should be fine. I mean, they've got two battleships. We have three. Come on. Extra firepower. Come on. Do Straight out of the shipyard and look what's happening. Look at what is happening. You horrid people! Oh, give up! How many airstrikes do you have? And not one aircraft shot down. Honestly, when I tried using a carrier, I couldn't get us. I could only get one plane away. Finally, they've used up their airstrikes. I could only get one plane away out of five. They've got three out of three away. Just easily. Of course. Yeah, so I'm down to one ship straight away. Great. I mean, down to two. Well, that's just, that's just wonderful, isn't it? Not even firing a single shot. Just making smoke and getting out. Straight away. You horrid beasts! How could you do this? I'm gonna have to dig deep. Anyway. Tactics. Talk to me about tactics. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess Bismarck, Prince of Wales, and Hudson King George V. And then whoever finishes their ship off first, oh, really? Can then go after the, um, the other ship. Right, we'll go times eight, because we won't need the thing for the wind. Oh, wow. It's far too easy to move. Oh, about here, maybe? I'll put it about here. I've got no idea what I'm doing, really. 13.2 is suggested. We'll go 13.3. Fire! Overcorrected, it would appear. Yeah, so basically we don't need to correct at all. Out of starboard, and let's get some shells on the King George V. That's the Prince of Wales. King George V is right over here. 16.2 is suggested. We'll go 16.1, and this time we won't correct at all. Fire! Oh. Well, that's... Eh. I suppose that's not terrible. Now leave the Belition gun alone. Actually, no, that's what you get. For launching all those airstrikes, you're not going to get an accurate thing, accurate targeting data for Belition gun. We need to get her out of here quickly. Quickly. Because if we don't, we're going to lose her. And we don't want to lose her because she's a good ship. Ah! 
the cruiser I'm not scared of particularly. The battleships I am. Honestly, imagine if we actually, um, what's it called? Imagine if we only brought in Bismarck and uh, Berlusian. We'd only have the Bismarcks to do it. We'd have to get out because there'd be no way I'd be able to take on two of them. One of them, yes, but two of them, no. Not a chance for that because they're just too good. They called elite gunnery for a reason, and well, unless they, unless, I guess, unless I'd like be getting pretty much pinpoint shots from the get go, like perfect. I don't think I could do it, and well, <laughs> um, I, I don't think I could do it. So, yeah, gotta do it. Sixteen one was over there. Let's try sixteen eight. We'll do a tiny correction, just a tiny one, literally just, just to acknowledge to the wind that, excuse me, that we that we see it, because it's the white colour, so it's basically no wind at all. That's what we've got to do. They're all going to be focused on the Berlishan gun, but. What I'm hoping we can do is disengage with her quickly and then that way, that way we will have saved her and the other two can then take on the um, remaining ships. I guess maybe it, did, it was the right decision then to get the Hudson because I expected um, there to be airstrikes and I thought that we'd shoot them down but that with an extra battleship, it would we'd have more anti-aircraft fire, so we'd be able to shoot more of them down. But oh, hang on. Ugh. But as it turns out, this is just going to be a bit of a well shell magnet for as such. We're all going to be fixated on the Berlishan gun, but I can meanwhile start getting shots away at the uh, Prince of Wales and King George V. So I guess, I guess what you could say is that um, uh, it was the right decision, but not for the reason I thought it was. I mean, we're, we're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. We're scoring hits. We're clearly causing some damage, I'd like to think. Um, yeah, we're... We're doing stuff, we're doing stuff. And they're all fixated, like I said, on the Berlishan gun. There's just one problem with that, and that is if they actually sink the ship. If they sink the ship, that's really bad. But I suppose we do have enough right now that we could comfortably replace... Oh! Replace it. The one thing we couldn't replace, really, is the experience. Because the... Berlishan gun has got the five stars of experience. Ouch. Uh, but I guess even, even the experience, you could replace it if you put the ship in enough battles. No secondary explosions, please. No secondaries. All right, good. Yeah, she's basically not moving at this point. Oh, not good, not good. Oh, and they're splitting their ships up. All right, so no more, no more aiming at Prince of Wales, but hitting, I mean, aiming at King of the Fifth, but hitting the Prince of Wales instead. I mean, that's, eh. That would have only worked at the start, really, because now I've got... Yeah! Now we've got pretty much the range for both of them locked away. That's one of the turrets gone, so that's good. There's less shells heading towards the stricken Berlishan gun. 16.3 was there. Let's drop it down to... I'll go 16.1, actually. 
And they're saying 61 as well. Alright, go. Go. Good. That's a bunch of hits right there. Oh, only two shells? Oh, yeah. Ouch. That's hurt the Bismarck. And that's four shells. Which falls short. Yeah, and then the cruisers aren't gonna aren't gonna sink it. They're just not going to be able to sink it. I think even with the pumps damage, it's gonna be incredibly hard for a cruiser to actually sink H thirty nine without using airstrikes, by the way. Like just using the the, the guns, the eight inch guns that they, they come with. Right, how how are you doing? Are you are you gonna start moving quickly now or mm. eh. Yeah, Bismarck's gonna pretty much be able to overtake you. Oh no, I can't see a thing. Um I guess just go here then a little bit. 11.9 was there. Let's go to 11.4. Shoot. I mean fire. Shoot is for the Royal Navy. Alright, that's good. I'll, I'll take it. It's a good salvo. <laughs> We've blown up the middle of the ship. Right. If we can do the same with the King George V, we'll be, um, we'll be looking pretty good, I think. Let's have a look. 16-1 was there. Let's drop it to 15-6. Fire. Looking good. Looking not quite as good. A turret is still damaged. All right, all right. None. Wow. So the both turrets are damaged on the Prince of Wales. Ouch. That's um, probably caused damage to the radar or spotter, and or spotter, should I say? They're not actually going for the Bismarck. They're going for the um, the uh, the Berlusian gun. Any damage to the Bismarck is basically collateral at this point. We're not going to crash into them, are we? No. Yeah, we just about made it. Um, oh, we can't see anything. That's the good news. So that means the Bismarck will be well protected by the smoke screen now. 11.4 was there. I was going to 10.7. Fire! Mm, a little bit short. A little bit short. King George V. Yes? What if I got it correct? What will happen then? 15.6. We'll say 15 1. Fire. Good things will happen. That's a bunch of hits. Four, I think, or five. Oh no, both turrets fire. But they're short. <laughs> they're short. Is that the big turret? Oh, it's the big turret. Oh, that's close. Torpedoes or not yet? No, they're getting close, but... Ouch! Three eight-inch shells. Not yet, it would appear. I think I might have to move on to the heavy cruisers soon.
we continue the turn. There we go, that's turn. Um, let's put the guns about, or about here maybe this time. 10.7 was there, so we'll only go down 10.5. Fire. Because we were a little bit short last time. And we were short again this time. Right, increase the elevation next time. Is the name of the game, I think. They're so fixated on the relation gun that they're completely failing to notice that the other two ships are actually scoring consistent damage on them. Mind you, that could just be how the AI plays this. That they um, they focus all their efforts on one ship, get that ship out, and then move on to others after that. I mean, I can see why they do it, but you know, that, that strategy does have drawbacks, excuse me, of its own. I mean, they keep missing, so that's good. If they keep missing, that's, that's, good, for, that's good for me. It's good for me, but yeah. It's such a shame, though, that we, we couldn't even use it at all. Look at her poor thing. If we took her back up to flank, would she collide with... Would she collide or not, what do we reckon? No. Clearly not, unfortunately. Right, the Bismarck is leaving the protection of the... Um, of the smoke screen, but that's fine. Fire. Good, hits have been scored. There goes the Hutton, which I was debating getting. It was a debate as to whether I should or shouldn't get it. Imagine me having to do all this, but just with the Bismarck. How much do I not want to imagine what the result would have been? I would have just had to flee straight away, pretty much. Oh no, that was rubbish. As soon as I would have seen those damaged pumps, that would have been it. I would have been like, do you know what? I have to get out. Ouch. Let's hit the funnel, perhaps. So it's a really good choice that I got the, um, the Hutton because thanks to this thanks to the Hutton this is actually winnable I think because they're all fixated on like I said the Berlishen guns so the other two ships completely undamaged or as their battleships are slowly being chipped away at even if the Berlishen gun isn't actually firing at them 0.0 I mean you're pretty much not going to get up to speed anyway so we might as well just have you do the best you can just do the best you can really go about here 107 was there go 105 maybe fire there you go good Six 15-inch shells right into the target. That's good. They can't take a lot of that. Like, that is just punishment that, that they um, they can't really take for, for a long time. Now, here we kept missing, so actually we're going to go all the way down to 13-1. Fire. There we go, that's a couple of hits. Yeah, they're missing now, they're missing all the time now. 
Oh, Prince of Wales is making smoke. Those cruisers are getting far too close. Ouch. It's four eight-inch shells. Whoever's firing at the Prince, Prince of Wales will have them, have them switch fire to the cruisers now, because the cruisers are quite close. Oh, Berlushingen is beginning to pick up speed. Right, the long road to 10 knots has now begun, officially. 0.3. Um, it's, it's the Bismarck, isn't it, that's firing at the um, Prince of Wales? Right, you, my dear, you shall switch fire to the barrack temporarily. Temporary, this is only a temporary measure. Yeah, go on. Fire. There you go. Is that enough to sink it? Not quite. All right. Uh, you mean you are how to continue firing away at the King George V? King George V not making smoke. Um, clearly not damaged enough yet. Well, let's make it happen then. How's the map looking? Yeah, all right, we'll go 12-9. Fire. There we go, go on. Yeah, good, good. Good shooting. Smoke? No, not smoke. No, they're not having it at all. Smoke. Ah, of course they're making smoke now. Well, it's too late now. We're taking out the Berwick and then the Cumberland, and then that's it. We then switch back to the Prince of Wales and let the big boys finish this off. One knot. Come on, Berlushingen, you can do this. Get up to ten knots. Seven point five was a pretty much a direct hit. Let's let's try seven two maybe seven three. Fire! No, we missed. Oh, that was rubbish. Oh, not good at all. King George V isn't making smoke, so for that reason, we're going to continue firing at her. If that's what you're doing, if you're choosing to not make smoke, we're going to do that. And there we go, I've got the message now. Cumberland desperately trying to close in. Oh, they're going for the Bismarck now. They've realised that they're going after my sister, so I shall go after you. 2.2 knots for the Berlition gun. Come on. You've got this. They're not firing at you anymore. You can disengage in peace. 8.0 was... Why did I go up to 8.0? I meant to go down to 7.2. Fire. Twelve four was pretty much there. Yeah, you go down to eleven nine, I think. Yeah, because Bismarck will take care of the um, the heavy cruisers. You meanwhile keep firing at your battleship. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Still trying to make for the hills. I'm not having any of that. Wow, that sailed. Wow, that was close. Berlishing can continue to make smoke. Up to 4.1 knots now. Looking very good. I'll try 6 and 9, and that should send them under now. Fire. Ah. Oh. 
not quite. All right, the Hutton is at top speed. How was 11.9? 11.9 was, I think, quite good. Let's go down to 11.4. Fire! Oh, we've destroyed one of the turrets. That's good. Prince of Wales continuing to run away. These cruisers are so annoying. They forced me to turn attention away from the battleships, which are the main threat. Belushi going up to 6.7 knots. Six point eight and yeah, look at them. Let's try seven three. Fire. Almost. Seven five would have done it, I think. What's gonna happen now is pretty much the, the um the Hutton's going to sink its battleship, and then it will move on to the King George of the... I mean, to the Prince of Wales. Because the Bismarck is having such a hard time sinking the, um, the heavy cruisers. It wouldn't surprise me if that's what happened. Oh, they're firing again. Oh, maybe that wasn't the best of ideas, actually. At least we've get, kept the Prince of Wales quiet. No, I'm not, I'm not, no. I'm not having both of my battleships fire at the heavy cruisers when there are still battleships to be sunk. Keep going, keep going, Berlishing, and you're almost there now. How was 7.3? Short, that's how it was. 8.1, fire. Right, now we really need to sink the King George V because she has opened up fire again. And go 11, 2 and fire. Beautiful. One turret only firing now. That's one hit, I think. Oh, leave the Berlition gun alone. Leave her alone. Cumberland closing in. Scoring, I think that was two hits. Oh, we're back at 3.4. Ah, oh, doh, Not good, not good. Fire. Finally, it took long enough, but there we are. The barrack is gone. Hmm. Let's go about here. Let's aim for the turret. Fire. No, no firing. No action. Oh, that's two hits right into the rear turrets. Keep going, keep going. You, you're doing a good job. Right. As for you, you want to. You, you've come. You've come to play, haven't you? Well, you've come to the wrong neighbourhood. This isn't a very, very Cumberland-friendly neighbourhood, unfortunately for you. As I shall now demonstrate. There we go. That's part one.
Oh, they're making smoke, that's why. They've gone back above 10 knots then, if, they've, if they're making smoke. They're trying to get out. Not if I have anything to do with it. Good water line hits. None. Only one turret on the Cumberland remains to fire, because we took it out, took one of them out already. Are they at 31.7? 31.2. Right, they've come forward a little bit more. Interesting. Not sure why you do that, but if you so insist. Nope, still not going under. So annoying. Honestly. You'll know why this is annoying if you watch my Royal Navy video on Mission 41. These British heavy cruisers are tougher than the battleships. Right, we're back up to 7.8 for the British gun. Are they making smoke? They're not, are they? No, they know they're too close. Very well, let's drop it to 5-1. Fire. Why aren't they going under? I'm scoring so many hits on them and they're just not going under. They're just like, no. No, I can take this. This is fine. So annoying. Oh, short on this one. Eight point two knots for the Berlin gun. Come on, we've got to sink this heavy cruiser and start firing at the. Prince of Wales. Fire. Look how many hits we're pouring into them and they're, they're still, finally they're sinking. Honestly. Finally they've decided to accept the inevitable and they're sinking. Fire. King George V also sinking. Good. Right, it's just the Prince of Wales now. Keep smoking away. Well, I've got no idea, because the last time we fired at the Prince of Wales was, well, ages ago really we can only use the um uh the targeting information from the beric what was number two 8.7 mm, i'm just gonna say 14.7 14 14.7 a complete random Shot in the smoke screen, so to speak. Here goes nothing. That's a remarkably good, good, good salvo, I think. Considering what was going on, I think that's really good. All right, let's get you worked up on the Prince of Wales as well. And that was a, that was there. Do you know what? I'll have you fire at fourteen. Yeah. Fire. A little bit short. Can 
continue to make smoke. Right, 14.7 was a hit, wasn't it? Excellent. Let's drop it to 14.5 then. And let's send them under. Fire. 8.15 inch shells. Straight in. There we go. We're not letting you get away. We are not. Mm -mm. No, sir, we are not. Um, let's go 15, 15, one. Fine, 15, two. Fifteen four would have been better. Oh, they're firing. They've given up on disengaging. And they're firing at the poor Berlishan gun. Not quite there yet, but I know we can do it. I have to concede that they're quite far away from us. They almost managed to get to the point where they could disengage. Yeah, but unfortunately for them, they couldn't quite do it. So they can't. They won't be able to disengage. Good. Yeah, they're not moving. Let's try 16 1. Fire. Go on. Oh, so close. So close. Um, yeah, go about here. 14, 7, 15. Go on. Mm, all right, not too bad, not too bad. Hits have been scored, but not the good type of hit, I guess. 16-8. Fire. Ah, yeah. Good. Oh, they're able to fire again. Mm. You're not getting the Berlishan gun. Yeah, propeller's still damaged. Hmm, they're not. So you should, in theory, get back up to speed. Oh, I hope I see the option to disengage on the next turn with the Berlishan gun. That would be really nice. It would mean that we, we did it. We got there. Yeah, let's go 69 this time. Fire. Mm hmm. We're scoring hits on them, that's all I'm going to say. And if you score hits, you will eventually sink the ship. I'm a little bit worried that we can't get to 10 knots, because if we can't get to 10 knots, they're going to say that it, it was scuttled, even though it's in pretty good shape. Fire. And we destroyed one of the turrets, but it wasn't the turret we were after. I mean, I wasn't really going for the turrets this time. I figured that if I've got eight 16 inch guns and eight 15 inch guns. I don't really need to go for the turret. But I guess it's nice when things kind of work out a bit. Oh no, the speed's dropping. 
surely that mean that doesn't propulsion is not damaged, does it? Oh no. So despite our best efforts, it would appear that we will lose the Burlishing Gun, I think. And we'll lose it in the worst way possible through scuttling. Surely we can't lose it through scuttling like this though, right? Surely not. I mean, it's it's pretty much fine, ex except for like a few defects here and there. I'd like to think we we could we could still save her. I mean, obviously, it doesn't matter what I like to think. It's what it's what the game thinks. I'll be really disappointed if the Berlishan gun is scuttled at the end of all of this. I really will be. I'm a bit annoyed at the Prince of Wales now as well, because she's refusing to go under. Like, there's no way you can win this. So just give up. Just give up already. You can't win. So what's the point of even trying? Like you're not even going to cause damage to me anymore. With just one turret, like... Unless you get some seriously lucky hits away, you're pretty much never going to be able to cause any major damage. And let's be honest, the whole... most, I'd say 90%, if not more, of the damage that was caused in this engagement by the British was actually caused by the airstrikes they called in. So these ships, they didn't even do that much damage, it was just the planes they, they called in. I guess we could open fire with the Berlishan gun at this point, seeing as we're probably going to lose her anyway. But I don't know, there's a part of me that says we might just, just make it through. There's an optimistic part of me that says we might just about pull through with this. Also, there probably isn't much point now. Because we've pretty much got her now. The Prince of Wales. Prince of Wales is pretty much gone at this point. Fire. Well, continue. Continue onwards. Fifteen one was good. We'll go with fifteen one again. Fire. Well, that's the last turret gone. But annoyingly, the ship isn't gone. Come on, sink! Mm. Now, they're not going to be able to fire anything now. Nothing at all. Maybe they could open up with the secondaries, perhaps. I suppose they could do, maybe. If they felt like it. If the secondaries aren't damaged. Because I think the secondaries could work. Oh, for goodness sake, we missed with both of them. Come on, hurry up, you're not going to win this. Do you know what? I'm not even going to bother correcting now. I'm just literally going to fire, fire, fire until she goes under. 
Unless, of course, the shells are pulled in such a way that they don't actually hit the target. Oh, well, there we go. Finally she goes under. But what I want to do is go back to the Berlusian gun. So this is what she looks like, right? There she is. Pumps heavy damage, AAA heavy damage, main spotter, forward spotter, main rear out and forward rear are destroyed, right? This is the damage we've got. Does this look like a ship that's going to get scuttled? I don't think it should be. Even though she's slow, I think she can be. She can make it back. Here we go. Oh, all right. Yeah, I'll, good, good, good. Yeah, I thought so. Good. Action reports on the British side: the battleships King George V and Prince of Wales were sunk for thirty-eight thousand tons each. The heavy cruisers Berwick and Cumberland were sunk for ten and a half thousand tons each. On the German side, the battleship Berlichingen received heavy damage. Most of the punishment here. The battleship Bismarck received medium damage and the battleship Hudson received light damage. Three stars, 97,000 tons sunk and we have earned, as a result, 97,000 renown. And that is all from Admiral Playerowski for this video. If you enjoyed the content I put out, leave a like and subscribe. Any suggestions for a custom battle, drop it below in the comments and I'll get right to it. Um, thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.